In today's tutorial, let's work on a bun hat. We're going to do three sizes of the same pattern and today we're going to be focusing on the one that's labeled within today's tutorial. Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd as well as Yarnspirations.com. I'm your host Mikey. Today we're going to be working on the bun hat and there's going to be three sizes of videos. Today it's either going to be two to four, six to eight or adult and the label of this video is going to be the one that we're going to be focusing on. So this is the original hat right here. It's called Snug with Clusters Hat and I'm going to be altering this pattern in order for you to make it into a bun hat so that you have a hole right in the center like so. So this is going to be in the back. So the top area will be missing just like this. So what I'm going to be doing is that I'm going to be rewriting these instructions so that you can pick up where exactly you need to leave off. So for example right here I would have to change it just a little bit because I have a hole and because of the hole it then just changes that section only and then it continues for the remainder of the pattern. Overall this is really quite easy to use and we are going to be doing a six and a half millimeter size K crochet hook today and we're going to be using either Peyton's Roving just like this or we're going to use Bernat Roving. Let me tell you a little bit about these two brands. So let's take a look at our yarn. You have a choice either using Bernat Roving Yarn or you can use Peyton's Classic Wool Roving. Both of the materials are very similar to each other but there is a slight difference. So Peyton's uh, Classic Wool here is 100% wool. It feels like wool when you go to touch it and uh, it's really quite fabulous. The yardage is the same on either of the brands. The other one here Bernat Roving is 80% acrylic and 20% wool. So you will see that there's a slight difference here of it in the way that it feels as well. So either one that you have access to is the right choice to go and uh, this is a really great option. So as I said we're going to be using a six and a half millimeter size K crochet hook today and we're going to be focusing on the size that we're about to begin. To begin we're going to create a slip knot. Remember the slip knot never counts as one. Insert your hook into the slip knot and let's begin. We want to start off by chaining 16. So just chain. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 and 16. So what I want you to do at this point then is that I want you to insert the yarn into or insert the hook into the first chain and form the ring like this. So there is the bun hat ring right at the top. Let's begin the next round. To begin the next round we are just going to jump and we're going to start doing cluster work and when we did the two to four years the clusters were all starting in this chain. The clusters for this is going to start in this chain but there's going to be more clusters than the one that we just did for the two to four years of age. So to start any cluster on any round it has to be a beginning cluster and how we do that is chaining of two and into the same stitch right below you're going to double crochet. Okay. So that is your beginning cluster. So it's chain two and double crochet into the same stitch. So in this uh, particular size what we have to do is that there's 16 stitches going all the way around the ring. We need a total of 20 clusters. That means that we have to add four extra clusters somewhere. So it's actually strategic so don't panic. So I want you to begin and I want you to chain one and into the same one that you just did I want you to do a full head on cluster. So see this strand here I want you to trap that into position. So just wrap the hook going into the same stitch okay and then pull the yarn through and then pull through two and hold okay and then yarn over same stitch pull through pull through two and and then pull through two and hold. Okay so there you go. So now you're just going to yarn over and pull through all three of those loops. So these two clusters the beginning cluster and this cluster are into the same stitch. So that's going to help us grow this round. So let's chain one and so for the next three clusters they're all going to be by themselves. So coming back down to the chain putting this down on top so that you can trap it underneath I need you to do a cluster. So wrap the hook going into the next chain pull through pull through two and, and hold. Yarn over same stitch pull, pull through pull through two and hold. So that you got three loops back on the hook yarning over pulling through all three. Chain one and then go to the next chain. See see these two were into the same ones. This one is just one into the one by itself. So for three in a row the clusters sit by themselves. Okay so do your clusters and then chain one and keep moving. So three clusters in a row are by themselves. 
Once you've uh, buried that uh, straggler long enough you can just sim simply just trim it out of your work. And okay so we have two clusters wearing the same. You've got three that are by themselves. One, two and three. I have now buried that one long enough. It's gonna get in my way as I film here. So I'm gonna get rid of that now. Just trim it right out. And the next cluster is going to be two into the same one. So just um, I want to chain one first and coming into that next chain I want to put a one cluster. So you only do a beginning cluster at the beginning of a round. So you never ever have to do that more than once in a round. I'm gonna pull through, chain one and go into the same one again and do another cluster so that you have two clusters in the same one right here. So let's move on. So chain one and so for the next three they're gonna be clusters by themselves. Do you understand the, the repeat pattern there? Hopefully you do. Okay, so cluster, chain one, go to the next stitch and do another cluster. Okay, chain one and the next cluster or sorry the next stitch is another cluster by itself. Okay, it's chain one. So you've done three by themselves. What's next? Okay, the next one is two clusters into the same one. Okay, make sure you separate those with that chain one. Okay, so there's one cluster, chain one and going into the same one again for another cluster. So please repeat that same idea going all the way around and I'll see at the end of this round. You should have a total of 20 clusters uh, all the way around. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12 is so far is what I have in here. So continue that same idea going all the way around. As you come all the way around the final three clusters will be by themselves and that's no nothing special. You're keeping it in count to what you're doing. Okay, so you just gotta make sure that you end up with a total of 20 clusters at the end and if you don't have 20 clusters then something is clearly wrong at this point. So just can, carrying on. Okay, and make sure you put your chain ones in between your clusters. So I can see that there's two here and then there's two by themselves and then the final one is the final cluster. Off camera I've already counted just to make sure and then to finish off chain one and coming into the top of the first beginning cluster you're just gonna join it with a slip stitch just like this. Okay, so there's what it looks like at this point. So let's uh, begin the next round. Now the next round and all the rounds now to the band are gonna be exactly identical to each other. So it's gonna take its time to kind of bell out and if I show you the other example. So this is kind of where we are right now and it's just gonna continue to bell and then come down. So what I have to do is that we have to get to a certain amount of inches when we go to do this. So for the size of six to eight years of age we need a total of, of a total of six inches. Now six inches is from here all the way to the phantom top. So pretend that you still have a top on it because the bun has missing the top. You wanna count that as about an extra inch. So what you'll have to do is that you have to measure then five inches total. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna start you off on this row here or this round and this round plus all the rest of the rounds will be identical until you get your total of five inches done and then the, the extra inches at the top for the phantom which I wouldn't worry about. So you're just gonna chain up two or sorry you're just gonna start and you're going to go into a chain one space. So just slip stitch to the chain one space and pull through. So every time you start a round you have to slip stitch to the space and then chain two. This is your beginning cluster and then you double crochet. Okay that's a beginning cluster. Chain one and then just separate these clusters out and go into the chain one spaces and put clusters in. Okay and this will then grow your hat. So just chain one and then cluster into the next one just like that and keep doing that all the way around. So I'm coming all the way around and I'm just putting a clusters into each one of the chain one spaces followed by a chain one. Okay, so once you get all the way back around you're just going to you make sure you do your chain one first and then you're just gonna join it to the top of the first beginning cluster. So what we're gonna do then is just continue the same pattern going all the way around. So slip stitch to the next one, next chain one space, chain two and double crochet. That's your beginning cluster once again. 
chain one and just throw in a cluster in each one of these chain one spaces again going all the way around. So I need you to continue this until you get to the band area. So a total of inches that you need from this particular point right here is five inches. Okay, so it actually says six on the original pattern but that's because there was a top to it. So it's, it's only five inches from here to here. So continue the same idea going all the way around and continue to grow it and then I'll see you here at the band as we then carry on. You will find this will not take very long. So when I last left you we were way up here and now we're at five inches. It did not take me very long at all and that's it. So it, it actually technically would be six if you had the top of this hat here. So what I want you to do now is that I want you to if you want to change the color you, uh, you can do so now and if you would like to keep the same color then don't trim your yarn. So what I want you to do then is just weave in your yarn strand here and I'm gonna choose a different color to do the band. The band is only three rounds and um, there's a little bit of a trick in the second round but it's not a big deal to worry about. Okay, so let me just come back here. Let me get my strand ready and I'll show you what to do next. So to begin the next part of the band if you're not changing the color just simply just chain up one and begin to single crochet around. If you're gonna join the next color what I want you to do, sorry I created a slip knot I didn't want to. So you have two choices. You can either be in a chain one space or you can be in a top of a cluster. So what you have to just do is I'm gonna go in the top of a cluster and just not tie your yarn. Just loop it around and pull it through like that and I want you to chain one and that'll lock it. So using this strand pull it down on top and I want you to single crochet into that same stitch that you just went into. So whenever it's a chain one space you're going to single crochet. See what I'm doing here with this, this one here. I'm just going right up over top. The next one is the top of a cluster. Okay, just single crochet. Next one's chain one space, single crochet. Next one's top of a cluster. Okay, that's all you have to do for this round. So just single crochet. It's either in the chain one space or the top of a cluster. Once you get buried enough you can just simply trim out that yarn there and then carry on. So continue to do that. I'll see you at the end of this round. As you come all the way back around I started in the top of a cluster if you remember. So here's one cluster here. So don't forget to go into the chain one space right before it. And I just wanna slip stitch to the first single crochet. So the next round what we're gonna do is that we're going to compress it to make it a little bit tighter. Okay, so we're gonna remove out two stitches of this one. So we're gonna chain one and in the first two we're gonna put those together. So insert into the first stitch, yarning over pulling it through and then go into the next stitch, yarn over pull through. You have three loops on the hook, pull through all three. So this became a single crochet two together. So for the next 18 there's just gonna be one single crochet in each. So let's count those out. So one, two, three, four, five, six. We have seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and 20. Sorry, sorry I have to go back to 18. I, I apologize about that. So there's 18 there. So I was getting carried away. So the next two are gonna be two together. So just going in, pulling it through and going into the next one, pull through and put those two together. So the remaining now going all the way back to the very beginning is just one single crochet in each. You do not need to count it. You're pretty much good to go and just single crochet to the beginning of the revolution. I'll see you back there in just a moment. So I'm coming back around and I just single crochet right to the last one and then just join it to the top of the beginning single crochet. So the final revolution is really quite simple. Just one single crochet. So chain one, one single crochet into each stitch going all the way around. Please do that and I'll see you back here. I'll show you how to finish this off with the darning needle so that you have a nice perfect edge and I'll see you back there in just a moment. So I'm coming all the way back around and I just want to single crochet then the top of the beginning or sorry slip stitch to the top of the beginning. So what I want to do now is, is that I want to trim this yarn. Leave enough that you can put it into a darning needle and then just pull it through the loop like that. Okay, so grab a darning needle at this point. Make sure that it will fit through the eye of the needle. Okay, so to get a perfect finish if you go in and out of the project three times you can, you can uh, secure this in. So just slipping underneath the stitches for about an inch Okay, just right underneath going through. 
Now don't pull it to the point it's gonna warp the edge. Now going in the other direction through a different path but very similar to it. If you go in the exact same path the fibers fall out. Okay, so just going in a different path in the other direction and then going into the other direction one more time through a different path and there you go. So now that straggler is now hidden completely and you can tr safely trim it right down to the edge just like that. So this would be the ending of your bun hat for the six to eight years of age and uh, you can see here you got the hole right in the top here. You got your beautiful band. These colors are pretty trending and this is a good to go. So if you compare the other sizes of the two to four you can see that there is a fundamental difference between the sizes just like you see if you lay them down over top. So until next time I'm Mikey on behalf of the Crochet Crowd and Yarnspirations.com. We'll see you again for soon. Bye bye.